This is a true story. In 1998, I hit Quincy Jones with my raincoat at the Juno Awards in Vancouver. <laughs> Why did you hit him? What had he done? Because my parents bought me an award, a ticket, an award. They bought me a Juno Award. You, I, bought, I'm pretty sure you can buy Juno Awards if you want. <coughs> they bought me a ticket to the show, and because it was a single ticket, it, they got me like they just picked closest to the front and I was basically a seat filler almost except I paid for the ticket so <clears throat> I didn't really clue in that I probably should have dressed a little fancier or whatever and it was winter in Vancouver so of course it was pouring rain and I showed up with my big raincoat on and rather than take it off in the aisle you know like down at the seat I take it out at the end of the aisle and I do this like big kind of like take it off shake off the and there was Quincy Jones, who I, like, flapped my raincoat. And His daughter's funny. He was there uh, giving up an award to David Foster. I like Rashida Jones better than Quincy Jones. I agree. And uh, that year, what's his name? Canadian guy, 90210. Jason Priestley? Brandon Walsh. Yes, Brandon Walsh hosted the show. Oh, and Brandon Walsh hosted the show? Yeah. When, what year did you say this was? 98, or 97 or 98. And there was a Shania of Twain. She has a show on Oprah's new network, OWN. There was a band called Econo Line Crush. Oh my God. They're not just a band, they're also a band. There was a Ron Sexsmith. Boo. Boo He writes good songs, but he doesn't sing them. Right. He, he's the one that looks weird. There was a... Who else performed? Elena Miles? No. <laughs> Econoline Crush was a last minute fill-in for Our Lady Peace. Oh, well, he... That's my first concert ever. Yeah. Richard Marks.